Good afternoon, students, on what is a fantastic Taco Tuesday. We are living the taco dream. In fact, tonight for dinner, tacos, absolutely. If I can get any, because the supermarket shelves are kind of empty of tacos, if you've noticed. Righto, the aim today is to get through our last two um, types of strategic alliances, and then you've got the rest of the time to draft away uh, quite happily. So first of all, up today is joint ventures. Uh, no, that is not the Eshe shop which sells certain um, things. That is uh, a type of strategic alliance where businesses join together um, and start up an independent company um, where each business owns a percentage and generally it only exists for a limited time period. Um, generally, joint ventures are accompanied uh, with expanding into a new market um, because they want local partner knowledge or they are required to. So, for example, in China, you cannot engage in, a, uh, in China unless you have a local partner. Um, we'll just skip down to the bottom just because I've summarized the textbook, um, the, the, the big textbook for you. Um, and so one of the greatest advantages of joint ventures is that the individual businesses um, maintain their own corporate identity outside of the joint venture. So as an example, um, the, the website previously up on the page is on our Northwest shelf. Um, there's a gas joint venture going on between Shell, Chevron, and maybe even Woodside, I don't know. Um, it's called the Browse Point Development. It's a huge undertaking and um, they've got together to do it because if they hadn't have got together, they wouldn't have been able to shoulder the cost single-handedly. So as it says, um, joint ventures occur for the following reasons. Um, obviously to increase the potential customers, obviously to reduce costs and competition. If you're working with others effectively, then you're reducing your competition um, to engage in new markets. And this is really the last one here that I talked about with um, the mining in particular, it's to engage in large scale projects. So the benefits overall of joint ventures, um, yeah, you know, you, you get all the benefits of mergers and acquisitions, you expand into new markets, you increase your customer base, you um, can improve your productivity through technology and staff, all without losing your own corporate identity. So just because you're in a joint venture, so Disney um, is in a joint venture with McDonald's all the time selling Happy Meals, but they both have their own distinct corporate identity. They just do it for a certain period of time um, and enjoy the benefits. Um, so and the biggest benefit, again, in particular globally, is um, in countries like China, where you have to have a local partner. So you cannot operate in that country um, without a local partner, and that gets you in. That's great to a whole new market with potential. Um, and also, if that local partner is any good, you can um, use their local knowledge to better maybe adapt your product to, need, to meet the needs of local customers. Uh, the last um, benefit is that obviously with more people or more, more companies together in the joint venture, you're spreading your risks and your costs um, globally. Okay. So there are lots of examples of joint ventures that you um, will be able to analyze. Next, um, franchises. So rather than me summarizing it for you for the last one, I just basically um, have copied the relevant pages out of the book for you. So you can see there's the reference um, from the book listed for you. You can include that in your bibliography for this assignment. Um, so we are very familiar with franchises. Um, as a business model um, and the rationale behind them again is um, if you like to spread risks a little bit because if you're the franchisor um, your rationale is to basically get someone else to pay some of your costs for you that person is called the franchisee um, franchising is also a great way to enter new markets franchising is also a way to, a great way to become a global brand um, there's lots of reasons why businesses, you know, it, it's the, the best model really um, as a business to continually gain an income stream without having to suffer the risks of doing it yourself. You can get someone else to do it for you. 
Okay, so you can see down here um, there's lots of benefits and I'm not going to run through them all. I've photocopied the book for a reason so you guys can do it. Um, and what you include in your assignment for this will be um, dependent, I suppose, on which franchise you choose. And there are so many franchises to choose from. This is probably one of the easier sections of your assignment. Okay, so that's the theory pretty much done. We've gone through all the different types of strategic alliances, outsourcing, acquisition, mergers, joint ventures, and franchising. There's plenty of information in the OneNote page here on each. Um, you can come and grab a copy of the book and check it out from the library if you want to, to help you. Please bring it back um, straight away after this is done if you can. Um, okay, just to a, rev a revision again on, so there's your, don't forget this is where your task sheet is. There's your task sheet. Okay, reminder again that it is due next Wednesday. Um, so from now on, after is today's lesson, you're obviously working through the theory. Um, the next two lessons really you're drafting out and you're welcome to send me in a draft, perhaps by Monday, and I can give you some feedback that the final submission needs to happen on Wednesday the 8th. Uh, just so it's consistent across both classes, this scaffolding sheet has come from Mrs. Ma's class and she's basically given you a bit of a plan um, for the finished um, submission. Um, as, and there's some of the instructions there. So just use the same font, 11, single spacing, maximum number of pages, sixth. And yes, you do have to submit it via Turnitin. And there's the information there um, for Turnitin. Okay, so um, I'll be available again during our class time. Just be aware that I'm in the middle of looking after my children at home. So if I don't get back to your message um, straight away, um, please excuse me. I'll be in the middle of cooking tacos. Live the dream.